Hey my friends, welcome back to Attract Passion. Today I have a special message for you that will inspire you and help you to work on controlling your reality. But more precisely, designing your reality. Creating a life that you want to create for yourself. There are certain principles that if we really embody and work with them, we can actually manifest anything we want. A few videos before I was talking about quantum jumping and experiencing the parallel reality, how to shift yourself into another version of reality. And today I want to talk more about the principles that actually work in the background. If we learn to embody them, we can actually shift ourselves into more ideal reality for ourselves. And what are these principles? Well, firstly, you need to know that this is, <laughs> this is your winning season. You need to decide for yourself, this is my winning season and nothing is going against me. Nothing is going against me. I am aligned and I am aware what I truly want. So it means that you're aligned with your heart's desires. And your heart's desires are these soul voices, the insights that are coming from your soul, truly navigating you through life. It's the heart awareness of knowing what you truly want, which is much different than just being influenced by someone else that is showing you something interesting and now suddenly you want to do something similar like that. Like sometimes a fashion can be a great example here. Like you, you may see someone who's dressing in a certain way and suddenly you think it's cool and you want to dress that same way and then you put these similar clothes onto you and you recognize it just doesn't fit you. It's it's not your style because you've been just influenced by someone else. And then if you really, you know, detach a little bit from these ideas from others, at some point you find your own style. You find what feels authentic to you. And that's when you let heart to guide you. You let your heart to guide you. So same is with our activities and our passions and whatever we choose to do. There's always something that we feel guided by the heart. This is the first thing we need to know because if you want to manifest anything in your life, if you're not manifesting from the heart, doesn't matter what will you manifest, it will lead to disappointment because it was never your dream. It was a dream by someone else. So this is the first principle. It's not just manifesting, it's creating a life of wholeness, a life of fulfillment. That's what I'm interested about. So the first thing is knowing what you want. Sometimes people say, I don't know what I want. And there's a psychological reason behind that. Usually people who have more of the people pleasing personality, they've, they're more agreeable. So those kind of people are usually adapting to others to such a degree that at some point they completely lose the sense of their own needs, of their own desires, of their own wants. And if you find yourself being more agreeable, being more adaptable to others, you most probably feel like you don't truly know what you want because you always, you're used to, to hear from other people what they want and you just adapt to that. So if you don't know what you want, I would like to encourage you to take a lot of time to discover what are your own needs. It's just a time and usually you need a lot of self-care for that, to recharge your batteries and to recognize that you're your own unique individual that has its own needs and, and whatever you will discover there. So take time for that. And if you already know what you want and you have this clear vision, then we can go further. The second principle you will need to understand is the power of intention. So intention, I will explain you a bit differently than maybe you, you understand it. So imagine that there is a higher intelligence because you're not the most intelligent being here because you're still living, you're still living in an existence that was not designed by you. If you look the nature and all the systems that work, the planets that are circling around, everything works quite perfectly and it was not designed by you. So it means there is a higher intelligence in which we live more as its design. 
And when you use intentions, through your intentions, you are communicating with this higher intelligence. And the only purpose of this communication is so the higher intelligence can actually guide yourself closer to it to itself. So at one point, you and it can collide, can connect, can unite, and you will experience this intense awakening or or perhaps the the unity or whatever word you want to use so this is kind of the purpose of it and you don't look for it as that's something you want it's the natural process of evolution of consciousness but intentions can help you to guide yourself through the process of life so things can align in your life so events can align in your life so sometimes when you don't know what what uh, to do this higher intelligence can align certain events in your favor so things can work out in the best possible way but it can only work out if you're following your bliss if you're following your heart if you're following if you're doing what you're passionate about that's why it's so important to what we'll be talking in the third principle to learn to reduce the importance of the final result and increase the flow state of getting there so intention is so powerful when you have an intention for anything you're doing like what you're intending with uh, listening of this video do you want to have more more clarity at the end of this video do you want to feel inspired to take action do you want to uh, get certain answers on your questions do you want to feel more grounded what is your intention because you will notice when you have an intention these intentions are like um, much more powerfully planted seeds as the regular thoughts intentions are like really really conscious thoughts that um, work as a communication mechanism with higher consciousness or say higher intelligence that's the power of intention whatever you're doing have an intention for it it will be so helpful when you're building your business have an intention today whatever you're doing what's your intention what you want to create today uh, where do you want it to get you and what kind of results you want to get out of your efforts today and so on and so on so then i've mentioned to you the fourth principle or no it's the third one which is to reduce the importance of final result and increase the flow state of getting there and this one is again really really interesting that we may find immediately in our lives the reflection of that the truth of that because every time you make something important it may be a relationship like every time you make such a huge important that somebody need to reply to your message you will wait that reply and it will never happen until you let go of it until you forget about it and then you you turn on the phone and there's a reply right as soon as you make something important like making your first sale or creating first results with uh, whatever you've started getting first views if you've started a youtube channel or whatever it is when you make it so important you actually create a lot of resistance in between where you are right now and where you want to be it's because you've placed too much energy onto the ending result which obviously create within yourself a feeling of lacking it a feeling of not being there a feeling of not having it already which reflects in your reality as obviously it's not there yet so the solution for that is to actually become more passionate about the flow of getting there about the process of getting there like whatever is the thing how could you make the process more interesting like you know if, for example if you're making videos for youtube how could you make the process more interesting how could you maybe change videos a little bit how could you make everything more playful how could you become more playful at it and make everything more interesting so you forget about what you're actually working on and you fall in love more with the process with you know flow state means 
that you become so present with your work that you forget about actually working on it, you get into a complete flow state. That's what artists are doing and athletes are doing. When they completely forget that they are actually doing it, they are completely in the flow state. So that is the generous present moment, right? And it's something we are looking for. But then people are asking, yeah, well, but what when I finish the work and I start looking for the results? Yes, yeah, stop looking for the results. Actually focus on something else. That's what letting go means, surrendering means, to focus on something else. Because if you keep looking for the results, you will keep affirming that they, they are not there yet. So what I've learned in my life through these processes of learning to manifest and to, to shift my reality, I've learned that Actually, when I let go of my present life and I do something else, something usually I love or, yeah, something completely else, I focus my attention on other things, something interesting happens for the work that um, I'm passionate about. An interesting email comes in or a sale, an, an interesting sale or a growth on my channel or something like that happens when I actually let go of these things, when I'm not looking for the results, when I focus on something else. That's why I love to live a diverse lifestyle. I'm doing many different things. I have many different passions, for example. I'm painting, making these videos. Then I love sports. I love nature. I love meditation. I love um, anything that can help me to to expand my intellectual understanding of things, but also my spirituality, anything that can help me to deepen my spiritual uh, sense, my spiritual sensation and connection with life. So I'm doing many different things and it helps me to detach from or to at least decrease the importance of certain results that I'm looking for. So it's very powerful because you actually... You don't fall into a trap of creating resistance between you and the wanting results and you keep the attraction going. Playfulness increases attraction while importance, the huge importance of results increases resistance. If you understand that, it will help you so much on your journey. Then the fourth principle is to find advantage in everything that happens. And what does it mean? It means that it's all about your perception, it's all about your attitude and your emotions matter so much in this process because emotions are like frequencies you're sending out and all these frequencies are informed with certain thoughts that you have, certain mentality you have around what you feel. So that's what you're constantly sending out. And when you find advantage in everything that's happening currently in your life, you will notice that there's always something maybe to be grateful for or there's always something to learn from. There's always something that is only getting you closer to where you want to be. So if you don't see any progress, it just means that you're not noticing the progress. The progress is always happening. It's always there, but you're not noticing it because you're being attached to something that's not present yet. And therefore you're ignoring what's actually happening. So your focus is on the wrong place and you need to retrain yourself. Know that it's a habit and habit becomes a skill, right? So each skill is a byproduct of a habit and each habit is a byproduct of con consistent repetition of certain actions. So when you understand this whole process, you recognize that noticing the advantage, noticing what is already going well is a skill. It's a skill that will raise your frequency. It will shift your attitude, you will notice, well, things may be needed to fall apart so something new can grow out of it. But to practically live it in our daily lives, it means that we don't fall immediately into, into an attitude of misery and sadness because it looks like things are not going out. We actually observe what is happening. Like, we kind of zoom in into our current situation and we notice, well, something here is awakening, maybe as a sense of understanding 
what to change in your daily behaviors or what you're ignoring or what you couldn't see before. It's like a deeper observation which leads us into more awareness in our daily lives. We become more aware and that's that's what helps us to be more conscious, right? To be more awake. So notice that. But then again, there's another side of the coin. For many people, they can't find advantage in anything because they've been so hurt in the past. So our emotional wounds may cause us to feel er to, to see everything in a negative way. Which doesn't mean there's something wrong with you, you just need to go through the process of healing. As, for example, Elizabeth, uh, what's her name? Elizabeth Kubler-Ross wrote, wrote a book on death and dying in 1969. And she wrote in that book, The Five Stages of Healing. Those are emotional stages we go through when we are working on certain emotional healing. So, for example, if you find yourself looking on everything from a very dark and negative perspective, it's because most probably you've been so hurt so many times that this is the only thing you know, the only state of being that you truly know. So, what are the five emotional stages of healing we go through so we learn to accept whatever is happening? The first one is denial. We are denying what's happening. We are, we are constantly in denying in denial. Then it leads into anger. We become angry for what's happened, what happened. We become angry on people that hurt us. We, we, all we feel is anger. Then anger leads into bargaining, right? You start to feel like you want to find a way, but you, you don't know, you don't know how, like what is the way out of here? So we feel kind of lost and maybe stuck and it, it leads into depression and depression is almost the final stage here in depression you actually start accepting what happened and once you start accepting you start releasing this old energy you start recognizing you don't need to stay a victim of the past you accept okay this happened this shaped me this made me this taught me something but i'm now i'm i'm willing to 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 move on and to create a life of my dreams, to follow my heart, right? And from a state of acceptance, now you can fully recognize what's the advantage of what happened in your past and what is happening right now. And what are you missing? What could you make out of this? So understand that this process of, of these five stages of healing, it's a long process. Sometimes it may take us months or even years more years five years maybe and it's helpful if you find someone who can guide you through this process so someone can can actually show a finger on what you're feeling right now and why you're feeling this way it can be really really helpful so once you understand that and you are able to find the advantage in everything, then you will notice that actually life is just leading you into the direction of your dreams. You need to know that your soul is actually guiding you towards where you want to go. And more you're able to follow the joy, to follow the passion, to do what you're passionate about, to do what you truly love to do, easier it will be for you to align with that path. And if you find yourself having a job that maybe you hate or being surrounded with people that don't support you in this process, also try to find advantage in it. Maybe people around you that don't support you, they don't support you consciously and intentionally. They are doing it out of unconscious habits and, and just ignore them maybe or find a way to deal with it, to cope with it. If you have a job that you hate, try to be a bit more passionate and, at that job and look at it like you're just training your character to embody more passion in your life and see what will happen. But eventually still work on that dream, work on that vision that you have every single day. Visualize yourself living that life of a dream, living that life of passion, living that life where you already have everything and then do everything daily intentionally. Do everything intentionally and don't be so focused on the final results. 
visualize them, of course, at the beginning of your day, visualize final results, but then fall in love with the process. Make everything that you're working on interesting, play with that, be really joyful about it and find advantage in everything that's happening. This will help you to stay on the track of flow of life and not so much stuck with a state of separation from where you want to go. So my friends, I hope this video helped you a lot to maybe just make some clarity around this process of manifestation so you can create a life that you truly, wa truly want to create for yourself. And I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting as well. Thanks to all of you for supporting my work. You're truly appreciated. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Hey, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed in today's video. I want to remind you that we've just opened a fresh new store called attractpassion.com, where you can find all of my work original paintings, you can find prints of all of my art in different sizes, so go there and check it out, attractpassion.com. If you will use the code PASSION15, PASSION15, you will get 15 off onto your first order. So go there and check it out, and to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching, we have some free spots once again. You can go and check out the link in the description of this video where you can find everything there. So go and check it out. If you would like to do something with the inspiration that you feel right now, it will help you so much to transform your life. I want you to do something with it. If you feel inspired, you have to do something with it. So my friends, till next time, one love.